Becky from the Seasonal Homestead and it's time for another garden tour. It is the beginning of August. The garden is kind of at its peak right now. Everything's in full bloom. All of the summer crops are very big and most of them were in the middle of harvesting. So it's a good time to show you around and what's going on here. Here in the first row, I have jalapenos in the front. And then in the back, I have Brussels sprouts. The jalapenos are doing really well. It's like a no work crop for me and don't really have to do anything. They don't have any pests and they just grow, which is really nice because behind them, the Brussels sprouts, I am checking them every single day because they have harlequin bugs on them and occasionally cabbage worms. So I check all the leaves just about every day and I'm duct taping off the harlequin bugs and their eggs and then taking off the cabbage worms and feeding them to my chickens. In the second row, I have lemon squash. And then behind that, I replanted my butternut squash and pumpkin. And then I have two kinds of pumpkin. One is the kind that you save for seeds. And the other kind is a Long Island cheese, which is a really good pumpkin if you're saving the inside to make like pumpkin puree makes a really good puree. And it's also a little bit more squash bug and squash vine borer resistant than some of the other pumpkins out there. So that's why I grow that one. We are getting squash bugs on these squash as well as some of the eggs. So I just go through and I duct tape off the eggs that I see and the squash bugs uh, basically every day or every other day. I come out here or the kids come out here and do that just to kind of keep up with it. And so far, things have been looking really good with the squash. We've been harvesting a lot of the lemon squash and eating that. <laughs> I've never had to replant this down here. This is holy basil. It yeah. just comes back every year. It's like really good for anxiety and depression. Why would you eat it? You're already less anxious. Yeah, <laughs> well, perfect, because I'm going to eat my stuff here and I'll do a better job of making a video. <laughs> what? Well, not just walk out and be like, here's the corn. And here's the corn. <laughs> this kind of makes your mouth go numb a little bit. Just got to eat my herbs before I begin. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so here we have our sweet corn and we save the seed from it year to year. Sometimes I have to purchase additional seed if it's like I don't get enough of it. Or like this year, we're having some fun with some of the animals. We can't figure out if it's a raccoon or mice getting a couple of the corn ears in here. We put up electric all the way around our fence on the top of the fence and it works. We tested it, so I'm not really sure. We haven't figured out if a raccoon is getting in, how it's getting in, or if it's mice. We actually already set some raccoon traps and we need to set some mouse traps still. I've been harvesting a couple, but they're pretty immature at this point, but I'm not being very patient. I just want to eat them. <laughs> so just picking them. Tomatoes are doing really well this year after an initial kind of letdown and lots of problems with bugs and stuff. Overall, pretty good so far. And we've got lots of paste tomatoes here in the front and then in the back indeterminate tomatoes. So after the tomatoes, we have sweet peppers. I haven't done very much to them because they don't need very much. I added some extra compost a little bit of fish fertilizer. I also add that to my tomatoes. That's pretty much it. They're growing really well. We're harvesting some peppers right now. In the back of this row, I have more tomatoes. Here is the peanuts that we grew this year. As I mentioned last time, this is our first time growing peanuts. So very experimental. I don't really know what I'm doing. I hope we get a harvest, but I'm not gonna be heartbroken if it's not so great because it's the first year. So we still have a lot of time before those mature. In the back, we have sweet potatoes, which are loving the heat. Then over in this row, it looks like there's nothing here, but there's actually some fall cabbage that I planted. It's kind of a green and purple one, and I can't remember the name, the variety type, but I grew it last year, it was really big and pretty. It just takes a really long time to mature. So I planted that probably two or three weeks ago. 
and they seem to be growing really well. I might cover them up with like a row cover if they start getting some pest pressure, but I haven't really decided yet. So, And then asparagus are still here, still growing well. I like having perennial crops in the garden because they're less work. Once you get them going, it's like it's always there and you don't have to do very much other than weed. I'm really happy about how the little Florida weave thing I did turn out. They've stayed up and it's also really easy to weed them underneath, which was the whole point. Wanted it to be easy to weed and it is. It also looks a lot more nice and tidy. Okay, then we have strawberries, which haven't changed much. We're done harvesting those. The kids and I have been working on weeding them, but as you can see, the weeds still kind of come up through. Uh, as a personal choice, we decided not to do black plastic over the strawberries, which would have prevented the weeds. The, that's the con of not using plastic, but the pros of that is you can be adding lots of organic material to, to the strawberry plants like compost and wood mulch. And I added a lot of wood mulch at the beginning of this season, which worked really well at preventing weeds at first, but then you, you need to keep adding that and I haven't added it so we have some weeds coming through so I need to pick all those and then once all those are picked I can lay down more mulch. After I harvested all of my peas in these rows here I pulled up the peas and then I planted on this side I have lima beans and in the back I have I think it was kidney beans that I planted back there and then over on the other side over here these are all black beans all the way down because we eat a lot of black beans. Dried beans are a big space hog in the garden for what you get. Because we are aiming more towards self-sufficiency, I'm trying to grow a lot more dried beans and things like that. So if you're short on space, I don't really recommend growing dried beans just because they take up so much space for what you get and all of that. But I actually really like growing them and I really like shucking them. It's kind of meditative. And these two rows are cow peas. I've been seed saving these for the last five years. They're very productive and I really like the way they taste. And we make a soup out of these every single year that my kids say is their favorite soup ever and they just want me to make tons and tons of it. So hopefully we'll be able to make a lot of it this year. Maybe double last year's. I need a little bit more of that basil. Okay, go get some. I get tired. So I had the garlic here before. I pulled that out and then I planted this dent corn. So far it's looking good, except I have the opposite problem that I had with my other corn. I planted that sweet corn and it did not germinate super well. So I planted some more and it was a little bit widely spaced. So for this stuff, I used a different seed plate for my Earthway Cedar and it planted it super close together and a lot of it. And I thinned a lot of it out, but I probably should have thinned a little bit more. So it's very densely planted which means it me needs a little bit more compost and maybe some more fertilizer. So far it's looking good. I haven't really added actually anything yet. I added compost right before I planted, but that's about it. In this row, I have green beans and I have yellow beans. It's been a really interesting year for beans, I think because it's been so hot and dry, they just haven't grown as well as they usually do. Last year from this same amount, I probably harvested five times as many beans, but I haven't gotten as many this year and they're all kind of squirrely and wonky looking because I don't know why, maybe the heat or something. And they're just not growing as well as they normally do. So I'll probably do a fall crop of beans. I'll need to plant them ASAP so we can get some more. But it seems like the ones that are coming on right now now that we've had a little bit of rain are doing better. So that's good. Okay, so we've reached pretty close to the end of the family garden. I'll just tell you about these last couple of things. In here is where I had my potatoes. We also had all the problems with the blister beetles and a lot of problems with heat this year. So I've pulled up a couple of plants Overall, definitely not as good as last year. Last year was like an amazing potato year. This year, probably gonna be 
less. So hopefully my sweet potatoes do well enough to make up the difference on that. I'm waiting a little bit to harvest those, even though a lot of them have died off, just because they last a little bit longer if you keep them in the ground, as long as you don't let anything eat them. So I'm gonna be periodically checking to make sure that no underground things are eating those. Okay. Here we are in the caterpillar tunnel. I have some beans for dried beans over here. These are Jacob's cattle beans. And then right where I am is where I used to have my cucumbers. I ended up pulling those out. So I'm gonna plant a fall crop here pretty soon, whenever I get time. And then over on this side, I we literally just pulled the dried beans out and got them all out. So it's kind of messy in here and weedy, but we'll get it all out and get it replanted for fall. Over in this row, more potatoes over here that have just died back, so they're underground. And then in this row here, I have carrots that I planted and covered with burlap. This time of year, I make sure I cover carrots seedings with burlap because it helps keep the moisture in when it's really, really hot. And it's hot right now. It's been 90 to 100 degrees every day. And then over in this row, I planted a fall crop of kale. This is, these two rows are where my onions used to be and I cleared those out and then planted these fall crops. So just got some more fall crops that I need to plant. Um, but yeah, that's it for the garden, for the family garden right now. And then the kids will do their garden tours. <laughs> this will probably be their last garden tour for the year, <laughs> I think. These are my tomatoes and we're getting a pretty big harvest of them. These are my watermelon. There was a raccoon that ate some. These are my cucumbers. They're pretty much done too, like my watermelon. Well, the raccoon ate most of my corn, so I guess we kind of got a good harvest of that. I got like 10 or 20, I don't know, but raccoon ate most of them, so hooray. This is my sunflower and it's, I think it's ready to pick, but it's pretty huge and it was pointing up, but then it was too heavy and then it fell down. Another same sunflower mammoth. That's the same one over there. Is, I planted mammoth sunflowers. This one was just huge and this one I guess is tiny. My name's Noelle and I'm going to show you my garden. These are my cosmos and these are my nasturtium flowers. Can I just say these are my flowers? Ugh, I'm stepping on my tomatoes. Right here is my strawberry corn. And these are my marigolds. This is my tomatoes right by my popcorn. Welcome to my garden. Um, right now I'm gonna be picking my biggest watermelon. This is huge. <coughs> Here it is. Oh, this is really heavy. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> Aside from the really heavy watermelon, I have the rest of my garden, which most of it has been taken over by my loofahs. So the corn is now um, choking and I also can't tell the watermelon apart from the loofahs. It is 30.80 pounds. 30.8. I'm Cruz and this is my garden tour. This is Greg the sunflower. He got big. I didn't think he'd get this big, but he's a big sunflower now. He's gonna become chicken food, sadly. This is my corn. It's kind of dying, probably because I haven't watered it enough, but it's for the chickens, so I don't think they'll care if I have dry corn. These are my cucumbers. They're kind of done for the season, but I left this one to grow for too long and it got kind of long, so we're gonna feed it to the pigs. This one's good. I'm just gonna eat it because I like cucumbers. Good. 